Hello YouTube, how are you? This is What the Math, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking a look at yet another awesome educational game. Actually, no, it's a game that is a game that just happens to have an educational value, and this game is called Space Camp. This game has been around for a few years now. I've actually played it a few years ago, and I really got addicted to it because it was super, super fun. It's very challenging. It's a very, very interesting puzzle game, and this game is all about chemistry. Um, let me just start with um, the uh, main screen, which is right here. Uh, this is what the game looks like, and basically once you start it, you actually have an option to start a, um, a storyline, and the storyline here is pretty awesome. Basically the idea is you go from different planets, um, and you're part of this uh, chemical space company that tries to develop various elements on different planets. And as you progress through levels, uh, your challenges become more and more challenging, more difficult. Uh, this, this level right here, I believe this is level 7 or 8, I just have to take my oxygen molecule right here, sorry, oxygen atom, and turn it into an oxygen molecule. And I'll show you how I'm going to do this in one second, but before I do this, let me just show you some of the features that this game has. Uh, uh, periodic ta table of elements uh, with pretty good explanations on how many bonds every element has and what atomic number it has. Um, obviously music that you hear playing right now. Um, there is also a very awesome puzzle elements that involve sort of like um, a combination of coding and programming as well as uh, strategic thinking and uh, management. And as you actually progress to levels, if you, as you progress to story, you unlock um, new features. And one of the features here is eventually you'll be able to construct factories, each of which will produce various uh, molecules. So I remember where I actually kind of gave up at the game. I couldn't solve this one level where I had to produce really complicated um, uh, you know, carbohydrate molecule using various other molecules by combining them all together. Um, and transporting them from one factory to another and then combine them again and eventually I kind of just give up because it was getting ridiculously difficult but at this point I was in love with chemistry and well actually I was in love with chemistry before that but let me let me just show you how this works so you have these different um, blue and red um, I guess you can call them controllers and these are basically similar to um, what you get as logic gates in programming or in computer science and this one is red right here so what I have to do is I have to first introduce my oxygen atom to this uh, to this particular area and I do this by grabbing this uh, right here and this button what it does is that it actually activates the oxygen molecule and oxygen molecule appears right here my next button is grab button and the grab button will grab the oxygen molecule so if I, I can also change the path for this and what I can do now is I can move and grab my oxygen um, atom and move it to the other location but unfortunately this is not enough because I actually have to turn this into a molecule my atom has to become a molecule so this is where chemistry comes in so I have to combine two different um, oxygen atoms and turn them into an oxygen molecule and to do this I have to use these bo uh, they call bonders basically these machines right here I'm gonna move one here and this will actually create um, a molecule for me once I use another uh, thingamajig and move another another atom of oxygen to this location so I'm gonna do this again I'm going to introduce another molecule right here if this is too complicated don't worry it'll make sense in one second this will introduce a second molecule uh, sorry, second atom, and this will grab this atom and move it to this location. And then let's see if this works. So let's see if my red goes in, picks up an atom, second atom appears, and blue picks it up. Okay, perfect. I have this so far. Now, what I have to do is I have to attach them to each other, but I have to make sure that they come here at the same time. So to do this, there's another button, another uh, function here called synchronize. So I can now synchronize my two uh, two colors, two, two lines, red and blue, and they will synchronize at this point. And right here, right here, uh, they're going to create a bond. So this will create an, uh, an atomic bond creating an oxygen molecule. So let's see if this works. And voila. All right, so I have my... Uh, I have my molecule mission almost complete. I just have to finalize this by um, getting rid of this. So I have to drop my atom on this side, and then my red thingamajig is going to come to this side, and it's going to drop the atom. It has to drop it in a very specific manner. It has to drop it uh, sideways, which means that 
What I have to do is I have to flip it right here. Other way. And then I have to drop it. Right, let's see if this works. Um, the coolest thing about this game is that it's actually, it's not meant to be a chemistry game. It's actually not meant to be um, an educational game at all. It's, it's just, it's a fun puzzle. Okay, no, I did this wrong. It's a super, super fun puzzle that um, is really enjoyable to play. It's very challenging, and as you progress through levels, you learn a lot about chemical bonds, a lot about chemical elements, chemistry in general, uh, because some of the more advanced missions require you to create some really cool stuff. So that's in some uh, storyline missions here will require you to create things like, um, you know, uranium and plutonium uh, combinations and like different uh, various really complex molecules that you may never have even heard of before. And I remember as I was playing this, I actually wanted to look them up and to discover what they are. So it's, this is a perfect game to use for inquiry-based learning. Um, all right, so I'm going to drop my molecule here and then I'm going to let it go. And this will finish my first molecule of oxygen. The thing is, I actually have to make, I believe I have to make 10 of them. So I have to repeat this cycle 10 times. But let's see if this is actually good. And it's, oh, it's not good. Because, oh, I see. So this is a mistake I made. I made an oxygen molecule with only one bond. However, I have to have two bonds. And to do this, I need to do the following. I need to move this here and then put another bonder here. This will create two bonds and this should be good enough. Let's try it. Two bonds, perfect. And now you're gonna drop it and excellent. So I'm gonna, now I have to finish the cycle and return my cinema jigs, my blue and red cinema jig to their original locations. And voila, this should actually be enough for me to, to make 10 um, molecules of oxygen. Perfect. Second one is here. So I'm going to accelerate this until I make 10. And, and the, the combination of this kind of a logic gate slash programming coding um, strategy game with the chemistry game is actually very unique. And I really, really enjoy this. This is definitely um, super, super cool um, addition to your chemistry class if you're willing to try something like this. And uh, the fact that it also includes online... Um, ooh, um, on the wine components, so you actually you can go you can log in, compare your scores to other people, and you can try to improve your scores, and thus learn even more about chemistry and, and stuff like that. And also, it, it also includes challenges right here. These are specific challenges that you can try to uh, accomplish as you advance through levels. And um, basically, yeah, this is one of the best, one of the better ways of learning more about chemistry. Uh, you know, by using different inquiry-based activities. Alright, so I think that's it for What the Math. Uh, this is a game called Space Camp. Definitely recommend this for any chemistry teacher or a teacher that's willing to... Oh no, I exploded ship by accident. Oops. Um, any teacher that's willing to try inquiry-based and game-based learning in class. Definitely one of the better titles for this. And in my next video, I'm going to take a look at another chemistry game that's um, very similar to this, but quite different. But it is a puzzle game and it is a chemistry game. Alright, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and check out some of the other educational videos I posted. Bye-bye and game you later!